Hey guys, what's up on Captain Turbo and welcome to Let's Play. Actually, you know what? It's gonna take too long. I'll just tell you what game we're playing. We're, po we're playing Pokemon Crystal today. Now, this is uh, my second attempt at playing this. I did record a good six parts. Um, everything worked fine. You know, there was no errors um, with the visual uh, with the video like there was in Pokemon Yellow. Uh, but I have seen to lost some video files uh, for part two and three, so um, and I had no save state uh, at the end of part one anymore. So at the end of every part, now I'm just gonna make sure I save state properly. Uh, so I should have like uh, one or two save states here because I've only got time really to play um, this quickly. As you can see there, yeah, I had a uh, continue there. We'll go new game, obviously, and yet. Yeah, this is a new feature, you could actually play as a girl in this game, which was brand new. Obviously you can read this for yourself, I'm not going to read it for you. Uh, it is currently... Uh, yes, it is 12... Well, it'll almost be 12.44. Yep, nearly 1 o'clock in the afternoon, guys. I'm just going to turn this down a slight bit. And yeah, um, I'm sorry, I just because I've forgotten what I was talking about last time I uh, did this recording, because that was a good month ago now. <coughs> uh, this is going to be a semi-blind playthrough, uh, mainly because I've never played Pokemon Crystal. I did own Pokemon Silver back in the day, and I do own Pokemon Soul Silver, which implements, and uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver were obviously the Gen 4 remakes, and they implemented a lot of um, the features in this game. Uh, some of the I've seen one playthrough of this by um, Brain Scratch Commentaries, and that was pretty much the only um, experience I've had with this game. Uh, and some of the dungeon layouts and gym layouts and stuff are different to uh, my normal uh, knowledge of the game, so... Obviously, just gonna put my name in here real quick. We carry on with the names we gave in Pokemon Yellow. And here's something new, you don't name your um, rival at the beginning of the game. We'll come around soon. Just realized I've not actually started any uh, sort of timer, so I'll have to check that a little bit later. Let me just check real quick. Right, we're nearly three minutes in, so I know when to stop. And this is our room. Let's just check a few things out. It's the town map. Obviously, this will show you where you are. We're at, uh, we're at New Bark Town here. Obviously a big place. Uh, I don't think you get a potion this time around, but we can check. No, we don't. Oh well. The music's pretty nice. I forgot how nice this is. Oh, and who's she talking to? Well, good for her. Okay. Let's see if we can just um, sneak past. Nope, we can't. Okay, what does he want me to do exactly? And we receive the Poke Gear. Very much like a uh, uh, phone or a, um, uh, the map and everything combined. These became more prominent, obviously, after Gen 2. So, uh, you know, in different ways and different um, styles. Uh, what day is it today? It's Wednesday, isn't it? Just put yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, this game also has a very interesting feature. Yes, I know how to use a phone. Uh, this game has a very interesting feature in that... Um, excuse me. It has a day to night cycle. Now, obviously, you'll be seeing me play this mainly in the morning to the afternoon because that's my best time to record, basically. Uh, but unfortunately, some Pokemon are only um, uh, only make an appearance in the very morning or the very 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 late evening. So I can only get certain Pokemon at certain times. So I will have to unfortunately uh, either do some off-screen catching or put codes and cheats in. Uh, I'll do whichever saves me the most time. I'm not going to put in cheats or co uh, codes, uh, cheats or co codes for um, Pokemon that I can't uh, strictly get in Crystal. And we get uh, Professor Mohawk, uh, Mohawk here. Uh, 
You see, I'm writing a paper, okay? We don't actually ever see any of these conferences or anything. Hopefully I'm giving you guys enough time to read this. And that's one of uh, those, but thou must sort of things. You can pick no, but it's not going to make any difference. You'll have to do it eventually. Uh-huh, yep, okay. Can we just get on with picking our Pokemon now, please? Miss the Pokemon. How are redundant. <coughs> Absolutely, excuse me, a little bit chesty today as well. Fine, can we just get on with this so I can start my journey, please? Right, much like in Gen 1, you get three different Pokemon to choose between. Uh, Cyndaquil, the fire type. Oh, is he just, just tell me that exactly? Uh, Cyndaquil is ironically the easiest, uh, is, well, dubbed the easiest, uh, easy mode of this game. Uh, then we have Totodile, the water type. Uh, carefully, yeah, 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 partner is very important. And Chikorita, who is the hard um, mode of this game, because the first uh, boss is not the first boss. Sorry, the first gym is a flying type, and obviously grass a weak to uh, grass a weak to flying type. And I think uh, Bug is strong against grass as well, uh, which is the second gym. Uh, but for this uh, game, uh, something I haven't actually mentioned yet is I'm going to be using Gen 2 Pokemon only. Um, now, if a certain Pokemon like Eevee, uh, who's Gen 1, has a second generation evolution, I will use that Eevee for that alone. You will not see me use Eevee in battle and whatnot, but I'm just giving you a, um example. And I'm going to choose Totodile because there's not really any other water type Pokemon I'm really interested in in this game. I'm not going to bother with nicknames. You know, this isn't a Nuzlocke run or anything like that. Yep, here we go. Now I'm gonna try and obviously uh, avoid as many uh, random battles and stuff as I can. And yeah, there's a free heal here. I don't know if uh, that happened in Gen 1, I can't remember. Well, there was uh, the house where you could go sleep, but... And the assistant here will give you some potions. It says potion, but I'm pretty sure it gives you five. We'll check that out in a second. Let's just check real quick. I'm going in our pack here, which is a lot nicer, and it's only one potion actually. You can see there are different compartments for different items. Much better than just throwing everything into, uh, into a bag like the first one. Now let's check out our trainer card. Playing five minutes. And we got 3,000 whatever. And we get some... Um, what should I... Should I report this guy? I mean... He's just standing there. Hello? Hey! Prick. We're on Route 29, the first route, uh, route of the game, obviously. And we're gonna get our first random encounter of the game. And it's a Pidgey. What a m majestic creature. I'm just gonna show off uh, this one ba uh, one random battle real quick. Um, you know, just to... Actually, you know what? Fuck that, we'll run. I don't want to take on Pidgeys. I can show you off the battles late, uh, shortly enough, anyway. Go up and around here. I actually... Just want to go up here. Go over there to the right. There's, a, uh, there's an item I'm going to get in a moment. Another Pidgey. And this is something I've just forgot to mention. Uh, animated sprites. Yeah, this was the first uh, Pokemon game to have animated sprites in it. Well, a uh, uh, handle game to have animated sprites. It was a new thing back in the day. It was a pretty big deal, actually. Enough potion. That's pretty good. Ah! Unfortunately, guys, I can't cut out random battles. And we got a Rattata. Uh, shaking his ass at us. 
And you can see there as well that uh, next to where it says level 2 for Radita and level 5 for me, uh, there is the uh, sex symbols for both Pokemon. So uh, that Rattata is female, uh, ours is male. Or is that the other way around? I can't remember. <laughs> it's one or the other. I honestly drawing a blank. <laughs> ah, random, in random encounters are annoying. Really wish you could turn it down a little bit. And we got our first second gen Pokemon here, Sentra. Uh, pretty useless to be perfectly honest. It's the Rattata of this game without actually being as good as Rattata. <coughs> I apologize, I'm a, as I said, I'm a little bit chessy today. Uh, if we go up there, there's a... In fact, I'll just show this off real quick. Uh, this is Route 46. This is where you come down after getting the 8th badge. You can go in this grass here, and there is a Pokemon I will be getting here a little bit later. Uh, actually, there's a Pokemon on Route 1 I need to get as well, but obviously it's the wrong time of day, so I can't do that. I could get it later, but I want it early. Go up here. Oh, come on. One more step, that's all I needed. And we get Harpit, another second gen Pokemon, but is as useless as fucking Magikarp. I think it knows Splash, and that's about it. Have a look in here. It's a fruit bearing tree, and hey, it's a berry. Uh, berries can be used on Pokemon to heal a little bit. They can also. Uh, Pokemon can now hold items. Just speak to this guy. Uh, yeah, as he says there, Pokemon only appear at night. Um. Pokemon can now hold items and use them in uh, battle if they um, ran out of health or something. And they do automatically when they're low on health. So it's actually a pretty uh, good thing to have. But I won't be giving them um, anything. And we're going to speak to this old guy. He gives us basic information, obviously. We already know this is a Pokemon Center and all that. But he gives us a map, I believe, or something like that. Uh, as soon as we're done talking to him. And this guy's automatic in the Soul Silver and Heart Gold remake. You can't skip him. I kind of like this where you can just decide whether you want to speak with him or not. This is the sea. Actually, that sea is a little more than the pond. And there's a guy stuck on a uh, little rock over there. I feel sorry for him. Yep, it's a map card. Basically, this will open up in your Poke Gear now. Speak to this woman over here. Yep. Uh, Pokemon Center, obviously, you know what that is. The mark, you know what that is. Uh, in case you're wondering, no, we can't get Pokeballs right now. Uh, we'll have to do that later, unfortunately. We'll go over here, there's another berry. Uh, in the remakes, these are uh, apricorn trees. They'll come into um, uh, come into the game a little bit later. And we get another berry. Uh, the reason I'm not using berries is there is a Pokemon that needs uh, to be healed later in the game, uh, and you can get, in my honest opinion, a much better uh, reward for giving him the berries than using them yourself. Because there is only a set amount, I believe, and I'm not sure where they all are. Uh, and we get an antidote right there. We got some trainers here. I don't think we can take any of those on yet. Uh, that guy's obviously not a trainer. <coughs> but if we try, <coughs> this will be the way we go later. As you can see here, are two uh, two trainers battling right now. Let's see those two battling right there. Both are using Rattatas. I believe, anyway. Keep heading north to Mr. Pokemon's house. Crap. Nearly got there and all. And it's another Pidgey. Now, I do like uh, Pidgey and its evolutions, but obviously I'm not going to be using one, so... Because it's Gen 1 Pokemon, I'm only using Gen 2. So... Let's go over here, I believe another berry. Oh, it's a poison. Basically, it will uh, do the same thing as an antidote. I went Mr. Pokemon's house. Yes, I would be turbo. And 
And we got the mystery egg. Yeah, the daycare service in this game is intriguing because this game implemented Pokemon breeding. Uh, you could um, put two Pokemon in the daycare together and if they were um, a certain group typing, um, they could breed an egg and that egg would uh, basically gain the uh, abilities and moves of its uh, parents. And it also usually had better stats so it made for a lot of um, interesting uh, Pokemon. A lot of people that do a lot of um, competitive battling do this, I believe, as well. Because when the Pokemon is hatched from an egg, it's obviously level 1, so... And obviously here, po uh, Professor Oak. Hope I'm giving you guys enough time to read this. It's basically just given as a Pokedex. I do like this. Um, I think it's sort of a slight remake of, um, or, sorry, remix of uh, his theme from Pokemon Yellow. He's a long way from Kanto, though. Or is he? Yeah, in case anyone's wondering, this is going to be a long LP. I'm not quitting this on the. Uh, Elite Four. I'm gonna quit this on a certain one-on-one -on -one battle that you probably uh, uh, a certain six-on-six -six Pokemon battle right towards the end. So this is gonna be a pretty long let's play. And yeah, that's obviously the feature of the phone. There is uh, you can receive and um, actually make phone calls yourself. Uh, I think that's the only one that's automatic though. Uh, now we need to head back to the Pokemon Lab, as you can see, we're heading south again. Uh, I'm going to avoid the tall grass, obviously, I'm trying to avoid as many random encounters as I can. And we're about to have our first Pokemon battle very, very shortly, actually. And as you can see, it's that guy we saw uh, skulking behind the uh, Professor's Lab. I wish the protagonist could actually say something. He just stands there and takes all this abuse. Come on, have some fucking authority or something. You know, have some balls to you. And I could have swore that guy had a animated sprite, but oh well. And obviously he'll pick the Pokemon with the uh, type advantage over the one you picked. Uh, I apologize, I'm a bit bunged up as well. Alright, um, let's lower its defense. Uh, do it again. Let's try a scratch. That's not too bad. If we can get a uh, critical hit or something, it will be better. Obviously right now, these Pokemon battles are very boring because you only know the very basic Pokemon moves, so... You know... His no scratch, his no tackling growl, my no scratching. Um. Oh, I forgot. Totodile has a berry, doesn't he? I could have taken that off him. But yeah, that's basically what it does. Uh, I won't be giving him another one though, so it saves me having to use a potion, I suppose. And here's something I really love about this game: the experience bar. That blue bar there uh, shows off how much experience you just gained from a Pokemon battle, and it's. Wonderful! <laughs> Much more of an improvement over the uh, Gen 1 way of doing it anyway. My name is the Riddler. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. And then he zooms off at a speed you cannot make in this game unless you're on a bike. Uh, and now obviously we'll just carry on back to the Pokemon Center, uh, not the Pokemon Center, the Pokemon Lab. 
She's actually right though, you can get all the way back to New Bark Town without having to walk through a single blade of grass. You just can't walk uh, from New Bark Town. Okay. Uh, wanna head up here? Head over here. And I accidentally walked in the grass there, but oh well. And we go back here. Actually, that's all um, programmed. I wasn't actually walking uh, forward there. Long red hair. Obviously, I'll just put in the name I did last time. There you go, Professor Mohawk. The mystery egg to Professor Earl. Why has he not yet closed that window? Why is it incredible? <laughs> For all the technology this world has, you know, we've got fucking Pokedex apps for phones these days. Why is it such a big deal? So yeah, obviously it has the gym challenge. Obviously you need to beat uh, 8 gyms in order to get to the Pokemon League. Uh, that's going to take a while, but we'll get there eventually. Uh, could I have this? Please? Can I have the Cyndaquil? Please? No? Okay. And uh, the uh, Professor's Aid will give you some Pokeballs. I believe this is what you get five of. Yes, yes, yes. I was the Pokemon champion yellow already. I know how to catch Pokemon, you idiot. Uh, just check. I believe it is five. Yep, five Pokeballs. Just make sure. Yep, that's the... Um... <laughs> Excuse me. That is um, basically the berry version of an antidote. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Let's just go talk to our mom real quick. Say goodbye and all that. Where'd you think I got it? Uh, no, you could give me money. Very true, so why don't you give me money? Uh, this is actually a pretty good idea because you never know when you're going to lose a uh, Pokemon battle. And I believe this game still does the problem where it takes half of whatever you have. I think it does anyway, I think Silver did. Obviously, like I said, I've not played Crystal before, so... So yeah, it's actually a pretty good idea. She will buy crap with your money, but thankfully it's mostly useful stuff. Let's talk to this guy. Talk to her. Let's just go in all these houses real quick, because I'm probably not going to be coming back here for a while. And yes, Pikachu is now um, the second state of the um, line of Pikachu. It's Pichu, Pikachu, and then Raichu. Obviously, this is the daughter that uh, she was talking about earlier. Yeah, I think you said all this earlier. And one more house to go in. I won't do this everywhere, I'm just showing this off because I'm trying to kill time. Oh, he's married. Oh, I forgot that actually. I forgot the professor was married in this game. Kill all eight. You stick at it, pal. And... That's the end of the prologue, I guess. Part 1 is over and done with. We're about 25 minutes in. Um, I'm actually going to uh, head back onto Route 29 here. And we'll activate this because obviously I can't do anything about it. He just activates. I'll show you how to catch Pokemon. Why not? 
It's what he's programmed to do, he's got no other goal in life. Let him show us how to catch Pokemon, just for the sake of it. And while he's catching this, uh, obviously, next part, I will probably have two new Pokemon on my team. Um, you'll see what they are when we start part two. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to wait until a certain time of the day, or I input code or something like that. But until then, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, and I'll see you in part two, where we uh, head over to, I believe it's Violet City, and we hopefully can start... Um, a certain tower and maybe even get our first po uh, Pokemon uh, League badge. But until then guys, hope you enjoy it and have a good night.